Well, hello, welcome back. This is Crystal with Emerson Aurora Design, and today I have a fun one for you. This is my glitter shaker cup. It's a snow globe style cup. I'm starting off this 18 ounce double walled acrylic tumbler that I purchased off Amazon. I'll leave the link in the description below. It's by Cupture, C U P T U R E. These are nice little thin um, or slim <laughs> style tumblers, they're double walled so that we can do the snow globe style um, cup with. Then I have my little Dremel. I have two different bits I'm going to use. This one here I'm going to use to put the hole in the bottom so I can put my glitter. And this one's my little um, rotary grinder, I guess, um, that I'm going to separate the two walls of the tumbler with. Anytime you're using power tools, please be safe wear eye protection. Um, you can wear a mask also because this does have a little bit of burning plastic smell. So I'm going just under the rim of that cup where the two um, acrylic walls are fused. <clears throat> and this is the section of the cup where they are, you know, I can cut just the outer ridge of the tumbler. I'm going and I'm making a light score line and I'm going to go all the way around. This is going to take several passes. I think it ended up taking three passes to totally cut this um, the outer rim from, or the outer cup from the inner cup. So the idea is that I'm going to separate those two pieces so that I can glitter the inner cup, if that makes sense. So like I said, just be really careful. Um, you know, hold the cup steady keep your Dremel um, straight. This is going to melt that plastic a little bit and it'll be easy to kind of rub off the little nubbins. <laughs> I'm using my um, tweezers here to help cut those away. Just a uh, disclaimer, just be really careful when you're doing this. You don't want to hurt yourself. And those little plastic bits, you can kind of see them flinging around they are sharp, so wear eye protection. I don't want you to get hurt doing this. Make sure you're in a well-ventilated area also. Uh, it starts to smell like burning plastic a little bit. And just go slow. Uh, I just made um, several passes, like I said, to cut this apart. This is the second cup that I've attempted like this. The first one turned out amazing. I did not record that one, um, so I decided to do one to show you all how I achieve this look. Now don't go too deep when you're grinding this. You only want to cut away that outer layer of the cup, um, separate it from the inner one. So if you go too far, you're going to cut through the inner, inner cup and then your cup will be ruined. So. so here it is. I was able to pull it apart. And you see those edges at the top are really rough. So we're going to take a little sandpaper and sand that down. I'm just using a sanding block that I purchased from Harbor Freight. So I'm just sanding those uh, rough edges there. When you're working with acrylic, you just want to be careful. It is, um, you know, it, it's more fragile than the stainless steel. So you don't want to crack it. You don't want to put too much pressure on it. I'm just rough, or sorry, I'm just sanding down that the rim there, trying to get those ridges off that the plastic made. Do the best you can with this. You, um, you don't want to sand the outer portion of that acrylic because it will gouge into the acrylic. So here I'm using this little, I'm not sure what this bit is called, I <laughs> just kind of wing it. But I'm going to hold that Dremel real steady and just kind of puncture through. I apply a little pressure at a time and I'm just grinding out uh, the little hole. This is going to be the hole that I use to put my glitter in the center of the cup once it's all back together. And you'll, that'll make sense here in a minute. Um, and clean away those little burrs of plastic. Make, sure, make it nice and uh, clean looking. And we'll put a plug in there later, but that's at a later step. So that's what it will look like once it's together. 
So now this is that inner portion of the tumbler and I'm going to tape off the very top rim um, and the portion just below the rim. I don't want to put a lot of glitter and epoxy right up to that top because on my first tumbler I learned that you know if you get glitter and epoxy right up to that rim you know the cup pieces won't fit together so for this time I just went ahead and um, taped it off to avoid avoid that issue I had to do a lot of sanding with my first cup so that's the point of doing these cups I'm just um, learning as I go and <laughs> finding new tricks so this is a little trick for you to know and I'm going to tape off the very top rim also I didn't want to get any um, glitter on that. So now I'm going to scuff this up. I am using the sanding block. I'm scuffing this inner portion um, real well because I'm going to add epoxy and my glitter and I want it to adhere to that smooth acrylic. This is my little Aurora girl. She's going to have, this is actually her cup. She requested, <laughs> She. I asked her what kind of tumbler she wanted. She asked for a sea turtle with rainbow so that's what this one is so this is the one you get to see and she's just picking out her glitters for this inner portion cup I would suggest using fine glitter just so you don't have I'm trying to avoid adding too many layers of resin on this inner portion this cup is very has a very narrow um, air I, I don't know how to explain it. The, the inner cup and the outer cup are very close to each other, so I don't want to add too many layers to bulk that up because I'm going to add my liquid and glitter to the inner portion to make that snow globe effect, and I want the glitter to be able to move. If that makes any sense, it'll all come together, you'll see. So this is her. these are her colors she chose. Um, she has a good eye for color. She's my little artist. So she went with the rainbow theme and she picked out her colors all by herself. She did really good. I'll list these glitters below here if you are interested in any of them. They're absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to add a small layer of epoxy to this. Um, you don't want to add a lot, usually about 5 mLs. This is a, a narrow tumbler too. It's just an 18 ounce. So just enough to cover that tumbler to act as an adhesive. I don't want this glitter to move around. So just be um, careful. You don't want it too thick. And I am going to also glitter the bottom because this is going to be seen from all angles. So just kind of spread that out. Um, the warmer your epoxy is, the better it'll spread. And I'm just kind of smoothing it out and then I'm going to let it rotate for a minute or two so we don't have those lines. I do want to um, make one note. Generally when I'm doing glitter swirls on a cup, I do base paint it with a white, white spray paint or a white primer so that those glitters are really vibrant. This case I did not do that. Um, this tumbler is a double walled shaker tumbler. I was okay with that glitter just going over the clear cup. It allows it to be a little translucent, which is a pretty effect. And you can also see that glitter from the inside of the tumbler since it's clear. So that's why I decided not to spray paint this white first. But you can spray paint it white if you like before applying the resin and the glitter. I just wanted to try a different technique here. If you were to add glitter over a sterling or I'm sorry, stainless steel tumbler without spray painting at first, your glitters definitely won't be as vibrant. It'll take on a different tone. So that's why I always spray paint my silver tumblers unless I'm using a silver glitter. But in this case, like I said, I I liked the look of that translucence, so that's why I did not spray paint it.
once this layer is um, set up and cured, I will go in and apply another layer of resin. I ended up putting two layers of resin total over this glitter. So you want to make sure that you apply the resin and let each layer cure fully before going on to the next step. You don't want to start your um, glitter and water until that is completely cured. So this is a couple days later. I am going to reattach this cup. So you need UV resin. UV resin is comes in a little bottle there and it will harden using a UV light. And I have that UV light. I will link all of these in the description below. I purchased my UV resin and little nail UV light from Amazon. So this first little area that I'm going to attach, I'm holding it really well. I want to make sure that that cup stays level as I do it. And I'm using a little silicone tipped makeup brush to rub that uh, UV resin smooth into that groove I made earlier when I cut it. And I'm going to hold it really tight while I let this set with the UV resin. I love using UV resin, but you don't ever want to use UV resin on the last layer of your tumbler because um, it is not um, compliant with FDA. So you want to make sure that anytime you use UV resin, you're going to go over it with your FDA food compliant resin. But it's okay to use here. Um, I am going to go back over all this entire cup later with my regular epoxy. So I'm just smoothing that on um, in the groove, making as um, straight of a line as I can to fill in that uh, groove there, and I'm making a good seal again. So I'm sealing this cup shut because our next step will be to add our, our uh, water mixture. Or, or Well, it isn't really water, it's glycerin, but just smoothing it here. This step took longer than it's showing here. This is all sped up. I'm, I'm curing each section for about 120 seconds. So I just want to make sure that's completely around there. I'm just showing that little opening. So I'm going to sand this layer here. I'm just going to try to sand the area that I use the UV resin to try to smooth it down. When it cures, it does kind of leave bumps. So I'm just sanding that down. Make sure that you're protecting yourself when you're sanding anything, um, especially resin or plastic, that those particles get into the air and you could breathe it in. So you can wear a dust mask when you're doing this. You could also do it wet sand if you'd like. I'm going to wipe it with some rubbing alcohol. Don't, um, one note, do not use acetone on an acrylic tumbler. Acetone does melt plastic, so you don't want to use acetone at all. So I'm just smoothing it out with my little um, silicone makeup brush there, um, putting another layer of the UV resin around the entire rim of the cup, excuse me, rim of the cup, um, so that I have a really good seal. And then I'm going to cure it under the lamp again. A really good seal on it I'm going to add my glitter I'm taking a little bit of packing tape and I'm cutting it and folding it in on itself so that um, the whole tape that's sticky is not sticking up so the glitter doesn't stick to it if that makes sense so I'm like sticking it to the cup and then I'll fold it over on itself so that it's just tape there if that makes sense sometimes it's hard to explain these things so I'm using some chunky glitters. I'm using a silver mix, a holographic mix, and an opal mix. And I can leave, I mean, you can use any big chunky glitters that you like. And since I used so many colors for the rainbow, I didn't want to add more colors to it. So um, this cup is kind of, <laughs> it, it looks a little obnoxious and very blingy, which I love, but um, it'll look totally different once this is completely done. 
I just wanted that silver and opal to just really show up against this, um, the rainbow glitter that I used. So I'm just kind of using a paintbrush to guide that chunky glitter into that hole and just shaking the cup around to get that to fall in. It does take a bit um, and it takes some patience, so just um, shake it in there. It's kind of satisfying. I really can't tell you how much glitter to put in these. I just put in enough until I think it looks good. Um, you don't want to add so much that you know you won't see that glitter underneath but you want to have enough to where your you you know it looks like a shaker cup so just use your judgment So here's what it looks like with that glitter inside. Um, it is still dry. Now I'm going to use my um, mineral oil. I ended up using mineral oil in this. Sometimes I'll use glycerin. You can also use distilled water mixed with clear, um, clear glue. There's so many different ways to do a shaker cup. Um, I wanted that glitter to really be able to be suspended so that's why I use the mineral oil. It is thicker. This was kind of a pain in the booty, I have to admit. Um, this cup <laughs> this cup has a very narrow area in there, so it was kind of hard to get that glycerin to flow in correctly. So I did spare you from watching all of the struggles that I was having. Um, you see me put a, uh, I, I continually wipe that top and rub it with rubbing alcohol. I wanna keep that as clean as possible for the later step when I'm going to seal it. This is what I'm using to seal. Um, this is a plug. It's a little wax um, stopper that you use on the bottom of, I don't know, furniture, I guess. Um, I can link it in the description below. I bought it from Amazon. So I put the little stopper in and I'm holding my finger over the opening so that I can get that glitter to mix with the mineral oil and get it away from that top rim. I'm trying to avoid the air bubbles. So do this before you completely fill your cup up so that you don't have a really large air pocket. I'm just encouraging that glitter to move away so that way when I flip it back over there won't be as big of an air bubble. So after I do that and I get all that air to move up, I'm going to top it off with the rest of the mineral oil. I want it as close to the very top as I can. Like I said, I don't want a large air bubble in this, but you do want a little air bubble. Go really slow with this. Um, this is trial and error. I've done several shaker cups in the past, and I wasn't really happy with some of them because they ended up having a pretty large air bubble so that the glitter didn't look like it went all the way to the top. Excuse me, I have the hiccups. <laughs> and um, just go slow and bring it up as close as you can to the little um, area that you have cut open. But like I said, still leave a little bit of uh, bubble air there. I'm just gonna spray this with rubbing alcohol that um, <laughs> the mineral oil is really greasy. So I'm trying to keep it really clean so that I can get the UV resin to adhere to that. So now I'm going to put my little stopper in. It, it feels like wax. It kind of adhere, It kind of moves and um, really sticks in there well. I've tried glue sticks in the past, which work well, but this actually, I, I wish that I had had this earlier in my time of doing these cups. So I'll link those in the description. Once you have your little um, stopper in there, just make sure that all of that mineral oil is away from it. And I'm going to put a a seal of the UV resin and spread it on there and try to just keep it on that top of that cup. This is to seal the, your opening. I'm going to cure it with the UV resin and then I'll go back in and add another 
layer of the UV resin to really make sure I have a good seal. So next I'm going to um, put a larger area of UV resin across it. You just want to check and make sure that you're not getting any bubbling up or leaking there. So I'm going to put an, um, a final layer of UV resin on this to completely make sure I have a good seal. But I'm going to add glitter to it. You can add glitter to UV resin. So I'm using this pretty silver holographic fine cut glitter and I'm going to put my UV resin directly in, the, in it and make like a paste. So you'll see me kind of mix that up here. And then I'm going to apply that to the complete bottom of the cup. I, that will really make a really good seal. And I found that that is the best way f that I've found to seal these cups. So just smooth that on the bottom. Try to get it as um, straight and flat as possible. Once this cures, it will it will um, cure all those ridges in it. So just try to get it as straight and flat as possible, and then go ahead and cure it, and you'll have a really good seal. It's pretty. So this is the cup. I actually let it sit for about a day just to make sure that there's no leaking. I, I set it on a paper towel on the bottom, make sure there's nothing leaking from it, and then I flip it over and I set it on the top to make sure there's no leaking. So these are the images that I cut out from my removable vinyl. They're all the little sea turtles. They're going to make a peekaboo. And I'm going to go in and spray paint it an ombre of these three paints. I want it to look like the ocean. I know I didn't show the spray painting. Um, that white that you see there, the foamy look, is from the Dawn dish soap um, technique that I've used in the past. And then I peeled up that um, peekaboo um, to reveal the sea turtles and the coral. This is my final layer of resin that I'm going in with here. And I'm sorry I didn't add the painting and the peeling up of <laughs> the vinyl for you guys, but I've done so many peekaboos on this channel that if you would like to see me do that technique, um, I will link one of my, those videos at the end. I believe I only went in with one more layer of resin on this and let it cure fully. It turned out really pretty. You can see that movement of the glitter as the cup rotates. If you're hearing dog noises, my dog is eating and drinking, so I apologize. So here's the cup, final, the final cup. It's so pretty. Um, I wasn't sure about the rainbow with the turtles, but it turned out so cute, and it's just what Aurora wanted. You can see the movement of that glitter, and it just, it's just something so satisfying about it. And um, these are cups that you just want to stare at. <laughs> I want to say thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. I hope I inspired you to create one of your own. If you have any questions, go ahead and just send me a, a little note. And if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. I'm really having a good time making these cups and sharing them with everyone. So I hope you do take some inspiration. If you do decide to do one of your own, let me know. I'd love to see a photo. You guys all have a wonderful day and happy crafting.